Okay, here I am back at the Kinston dump. So now I'm going to probe around and see if I can find a good spot. Okay, this spot feels undug and so I probed it out and scraped away all the excess plant material and used my probe handle to force back this wicked thorn bush. So let's get in there and see what's down there. Okay, the first bottle is showing up. Uh, just one of these. It is an interesting design, but this is something you could find in any town in America, probably from the early 40s. But it still could be worth three or four dollars just because the design is sort of interesting. All right, I just pulled this one out. It's a four roses. Still has a lot of the label on it, but probably not good enough to preserve it and display it. But it does have a lot of embossed rose bushes on it, so it's kind of nice. And it is a cork top, and should sell for about six or seven dollars, I would think. It's one of those little six-sided amber, po amber poisons, and it has sharpened dome on it somewhere. Yeah, there it is. A later machine made, undoubtedly, but still. Any embossed poison should be worth $7 at least, right? And then we have a headless child cowboy. Sometimes these bodies are interesting when you just put a random head on them. Okay, we got one of these. I don't know if it's considered a free sample or not, but... It's one of those Listerines in the really small size with the cork top. Then we got a nice piece of uranium glass, which there seems to be a lot of that in here. This is a three-sided bottle, so it's got to be worth at least a dollar. And it's got something embossed on it. I usually leave those behind, but what the heck. And this is just a slick, but it's got the Bakelite cap on it. Could put a poison bottle label on that and get a few dollars for it maybe and of course i always save these nice thick blue pieces for chipping arrowheads out of even though it's got a big crack in it but still it could be used we also just found this almost intact uranium glass or depression glass bottoms blown out but still Sitting on the shelf, it would look pretty nice. Mm, it's kind of a sparse dig, considering uh, you know early 40s is usually loaded. So I don't know if this is any good, but I'm filming everything just in case because I miss too many things by assuming something's just going to be a junker. And okay, I missed getting that one. That one just popped out unexpectedly. Can you tell what it is? It is a doll. Is it creepy to you? All right, we're getting into a loaded spot right here. Interesting shape, but I never bring these back with me. And we got this one. I always bring these back, but nobody ever buys them. Hmm, it looks a little bigger than I remember. So, definitely should sell, but for some reason I've never had any luck selling them. But I'm going to bring it anyway, because uh, my instincts say it's got to be worth $5. What do we got here? Some kind of food product that takes a mason jar lid, so as long as you put a zinc lid on that, people will buy them for a few dollars. All right, I see a Coke bottle. And it's undoubtedly going to be a Christmas Coke, because everyone in here is. Okay, there we have the Christmas date. And what's it say on the bottom? Kinston, of course. Looks to be in good shape. Is it? Yeah, it's nearly mint. So that's a nice one. I better put some water on that one. I just found one I've never seen before. 
Wesson oil mayonnaise maker. What the heck? Hmm, has, gives directions embossed right on there how to make homemade mayonnaise. It's just too bad it has a hole broken in it. But since it's so strange, why couldn't the hole be in the back side? I don't know, but I should probably bring it home anyway just because I've never seen one in all my years of digging. Okay, I just tossed out a milk bottle. I haven't looked at it yet. Okay, we do have some embossing, but it is the least desirable one here from the town of Kinston, just hilltop only. And it is in really good shape, so that is still probably a, mm, at least twelve and a half dollar bottle. We have something interesting over here. I knew there was a toilet over here all along, but I didn't think about it very much. I just said, oh, well, it's just a toilet, but look at that. I mean, how many toilets are going to have a monogram on it like that? That's probably more than 100 years old. So if it's not cracked up, it's probably worth some money. But it's looking damaged over here. But it is rather interesting. We'll see in a while. Okay, just found a nice shard of a blown in a mold aqua. Some kind of water bottle that would have held two gallons, it looks like. Definitely too big to be a one gallon, right? Well, no, it is a one gallon, actually. So used to find in half gallon water bottles. But yeah, I don't know what it's good for other than chipping out some arrowheads maybe the fact that it's blown in the mold and all might be worth bringing home okay I usually don't keep ketchups unless they're embossed or definitely gonna turn purple even then I throw them back a lot of times but this one just look how small that is it's the smallest ketchup I've ever seen it might hold six ounces whereas most of them hold ten or twelve so, if I don't have too much to carry, I might bring that one back. Okay, I found this interesting flask. It's got an Art Deco type design. And the label's still good enough that it's possible to read it if I was to clean it. And it could say a North Carolina name on it, but... Unfortunately, it has a crack in it, so I guess I'm not going to save it. Okay, another interesting one with the label that's potentially going to be readable. But it does have some nice designs on it, and it is not cracked. And I don't believe I've ever found one like it, so definitely should bring it home. Okay, it looks like we got a pint-sized milk showing up, but I think it's not going to be a good one because I can see the embossing already. It's one of those, a bottle of milk is a bottle of health. Kind of a generic one. But still, it might be worth $5 to somebody. Looks to be in good shape. Finally, we got something blue. Nothing special, but it might sell for $4 one day. Okay, I found a pretty good marble here. It's um, almost for sure an Aggie made out of agate stone and actually carved into a spherical shape doesn't have any dings or chips either so that could be worth ten dollars i don't know and then we have another doll body gotta find a tiny head to put on it and then we found this head of a green cat like creature but the face does not look like a cat very much I just snagged uh, something off the ceiling layer and a whole bunch of bottles just dropped down. Let's see what we got. Mm, nah, I don't like that one too much. And we got a medicine. No, it's not an early ACL one, so that's no good. 
And this one is also no good. Okay, haven't found one of these for quite some time. Interesting bottle. Dr. Ellis Special Quick Dry Waving Fluid Wave Set. So, somebody that owns a beauty parlor would probably want to have that on display. It's got that neat image on the back of a comb in a bottle. Dip the comb in the bottle. Yeah, that's always a... It's a pretty nice bottle there. I don't know if it's worth more than $6 though, but it's got nice embossing anyway. Okay, we got another marble and it looks like a pretty nice one. I don't know if oxblood is something that's on blue glass. Uh, I'm not an expert on marbles, but I do have a fairly good knowledge on them. I don't know, is that oxblood? And if so, it's usually on yellow translucent glass. I don't know, you tell me. What is this? Okay, found one of these little Nadiola cream melt glass rectangle. No lid, but maybe it'll show up. Maybe I got some back home. Okay, what's that? Is that going to be another wave set bottle? Sure looks about the right size for it. Yep. It's another dip the comb in the bottle. So, it's another at least $5. This toilet is about ready to come out, but I'm going to wait just a few more minutes. Okay, it's ready. Yeah, it's definitely wrecked. The first victim of a vandal from 1912. Okay, we got another marble showing up. Mm, I don't know, what do you think? Uh, I would put about 80 cents on it. Okay, I don't think I showed you this one yet. It's a big 8 ounce. -er. It's got some nice patina on it for a clear bottle. And we have another one of these with a zero on the bottom. Then we got one of these. Shake before each dose. So it's at least a corker. I think I'm going to call it a day. I don't even know if I've been here three hours yet, but. I really wasn't even planning on digging today with a backup plan. It's supposed to be 87 degrees and rainy today. I don't think it quite made it that hot, but it is a little bit on the hot side. And I really hate to dig when it's over 72 degrees. So until next week. Okay, I'm not really doing a wrap up. I'm just going to show this one bottle. I'm just going to show this one bottle because it has one thing unique about it. The Owens, Illinois mark. I'm sure all of you bottle diggers have found plenty of these bottles with the Owens, Illinois mark on the bottom. They made one third of all bottles in the United States in the 30s and 40s and 50s. But this one doesn't have the code on either side. It's supposed to have a date code to the right and the factory number code on the left but it doesn't have either one sometimes even at the bottom there's something but I just thought it was interesting that this just has the Owens mark and nothing else